June 10, 2014. Quick thing, if you want to add me on Roblox, my current username is always underscore entertaining. Around 2014, I was pretty new. I had been on Roblox for almost a year, and I was making a game on an old version of Roblox Studio. I was at this time about 11, and so I was the biggest loser ever. I got scared of a lot of things, and so this one made me absolutely jump. As I was building my game, which was supposed to be a typhoon, I noticed a model in my game that I never placed down. It was registered under the name, James, and the character was a green kind of zombie looking character, but with an orange striped shirt. I clicked on play, and it loaded me into the game. When I was in, I noticed that when I joined all of my stuff was gone except for the model, James. I quickly exited out to make sure that I hadn't deleted all my progress, yet all of it was gone. I kept trying to press undo, yet all of my hard work couldn't be restored for some odd reason. I was furious, and I shut down the studio and ended up watching YouTube for the rest of the night. June 11, 2013. The next day, I woke up to an unfamiliar sound coming from my computer, and it was quite eerie. It sounded like a fan was running, yet with a deep pitch and some clanging noise. I thought there was something wrong with the motherboard, so I told my mother about it and we drove to the electronics store. The clerk there said that there was nothing wrong with it and that maybe it was coming from some other source in my bedroom. But I knew that it was coming from the computer. Still, I listened to the man and just went home and plugged it back in. When it was booted up, it already had a tab open. Roblox Studio. At first I thought, oh maybe it sort of burned into the screen. I was wrong. June 12, 2013. Yesterday it had worked well all day besides that incident with the noise, but today I couldn't access Roblox Studio, and I could only play one game. That game was made by the user James. The title of the game was, Hangman, and at first I thought it was like the version where you'd have to guess a letter to match the word, and if failed, your character gets hanged. But I was wrong. I entered the game to see it was actually very well developed. It was almost like a side-scroller, but with Hangman running from a rope. It was very cartoony, up until one point. There was this tunnel that you had to get your character through, and when I exited, I found my character to have all types of gears lodged into his back. But my character was still running. I passed it off as a scripted part of the game. Towards the end of the first level, he had become more and more depressed looking. Then, something random happened to my keyboard and mouse, and I could no longer control my character. My character started looking droopy, almost like droopy dog, yet much more sad. Then it cut to black. Once it cut to black, I freaked out, realizing that this was most certainly not a part of a script, as it was much too advanced for Roblox terms. It cut to my character walking towards me, hood overhead, and the person behind my character was James. He stabbed my character with a link sword, and then he waved at the screen. I exited down after that, but when I tried to go back, the game was gone. Three minutes later, that account that I had been using was terminated. That was the first and only one half encounters I had with him. The second time was much shorter, and as I was in game on Lumber Typhoon 2, when I saw the player James in game, everyone else left, and it was just me and him. I was kicked from the game shortly after, and that was the last time I saw that player. You can no longer find James's game or his profile on Roblox.